birth injuries in Arizona occur for a number of reasons. Doctors do not do the proper prenatal care. They do not perform the proper tests to determine whether a baby is too big for delivery. Often the doctors who are performing the prenatal care or who are the regular OBGYNs for the patients are not the doctors that are performing the deliveries. And as a result, there's a disconnect between the patient and the doctor and the regular OBGYN and the doctor who happens to be on call. Oftentimes the doctor who is on call is not around. The delays in the delivery cause problems for the baby, cause problems for the mother. Sometimes this results in a baby not getting enough oxygen to the brain and the baby suffering a brain injury. And these are all avoidable injuries, and these injuries will affect that person for the rest of his or her life, as well as the person's family. The person will no longer be able to function normally in society. The person will require financial as well as medical assistance, and the family will require financial and medical assistance to handle the type of injury that results from medical malpractice in Arizona. Birth injury medical malpractice cases in Arizona are especially tough because not only are you going up against the insurance company, you're going up against the hospital, and you're going up against the doctor who wishes to maintain his reputation and will fight to the end to maintain his good standing in the community and avoid a medical malpractice judgment against him or her. Therefore, it's important to get a lawyer involved from the very beginning to obtain the medical records right away to hire experts right away to determine the extent of the injury and whether this child can be assisted for the rest of his or her life, whether this child can be cured of any condition that occurs as a result of medical malpractice in Arizona, or to determine what this person is going to need for the rest of his or her life. Succeeding in medical malpractice cases is not just about the money. It's not only about the money. It's about getting your day in court. It's about getting an acknowledgement that something went wrong. It's about closure. It's about being put back in the position you were before the malpractice occurred, if at all possible.